Okay, guys, I'm here today with Juni. Huge honor for me. Guys, Juni is a black belt from Murilo Santana and one of the main instructors at Union Jiu Jitsu in New York City. And like the right hand of Murilo, yeah. right, Juni? Yeah, small right hand. Yeah. <laughs> and guys, uh, Juni just shot an entire instructional all about the leg entanglements yes. from the creative mind of Juni. Yes, leg entanglements from the creative mind of Juni. Just the, my take on some of the leg entanglements that I use that I kind of use the baseline of what is out there but really like really defined by my style and the way i like to do it and so there's some funky stuff in there uh that talks about what's high percentage what's low percentage what's going to work in competition whether person's on uh, points or versus sub only and uh just some interesting leg entanglements that i like to use and guys check out the move that he's going to show us uh was right now is a uh, one leg attack from the knee shields and it's very, very interesting what he's gonna yeah. do. Sure. Take a look. Let's check it out. So we get to the knee shield, and what I don't want is I don't want him to lock his legs. I wanna be a little bit onto him. And then I lean a little bit, not too much. So I don't wanna lean and drop my knee to the mat. What I wanna do is I wanna put my foot and lean the pressure into my leg, but just enough where I can put weight, but I, I'm not shifting my hip, okay? And then we're gonna go underneath the leg, we're gonna go right at the tibia and fibia, we're gonna rip a pry, and we're gonna pull, and now watch what's gonna happen. We're gonna, now we're gonna fall to our hip, we're gonna pull this in all the way, and he will probably turn with me, because at this point, he has to, and we lock that knee bar, nice yeah, and tight, it. we get our head to the toes, we always go, a hand on the heel, we go extension on knee bar first, because he will open up the knee to stop the knee bar, and we will open up for the heel hook that uh, comes next. Right? Yeah. Never going heel hook to knee bar, always knee bar to heel hook. Man, that's amazing. One more time, Richard. So we go inside so here, the they think they're a little safe, they're complacent. I put a little bit of weight on my toe to lean in. I catch a pry. So when I catch a pry, I don't lean this way. I actually go under, my chest will go over it, and then I pry, and then I bring this leg inside my hip line. It cannot go outside my hip line. I bring it into all the way to the other side. And I pull it all the way through. I catch my head on the toes. I catch my hand on the heel. I get nice and tight. I do a hip extension. Ah, he turns my knee. And I catch that heel hook nice and tight. And I get that finish. Man, that's amazing. So you put so much pressure in the knee shields that yes. the person really has to let it go, right? Yeah, like I put so much pressure that they want to let it go or they have to turn with me, right? So in the beginning, when I get to here, I want to put pressure in. I don't want them to be pushing pressure into me because I can do it, but yep. it's different. The knee needs to start a little higher yep. so that it ends up here. If it starts too low, I'll pull it down, but it won't go to the opposite side of my hip. Yep. So it's really important that you go in, raise it up a little bit. Oh, that's a great detail. Okay. So you use this arm to raise it a little bit. Raise the knee up just a little bit yep. so that our chest can go out. Now we have a pry. Now yep. we're going to pry. Yeah, I, I gotta let it go. Like. Yes, and if, if they stay here, they, they almost for sure will roll with you. And then you're gonna pull it in, they're gonna spin. Yeah, I feel the natural move. And I'm gonna catch. The main thing is that your head rotates to the toes right away. Why that? Roll, roll, Jordan? Because if I go like this and your, your I can toes turn, your knee rotates, it. and I'm only left with a heel. Up. I got it. I wanna make sure my head goes, catches. I stay here with a hard knee bar. They open up the knee, which is almost for sure that's gonna happen. You don't have to rush here as long as your head's on the toes. Yep. And then we slowly sit up and yeah, crunch and then catch. Right, that's amazing. That's it. You developed that earlier, Jimmy? Yes, this is uh, just some stuff that I like playing with in my mind and just being able to like dictate where the knee needs to be. So I use the baseline of like what comes up. So if the knee's on the inside, it's 50-50. And if the knees on to the if the knees to the outside is 50 50 if the knees to the inside it's always knee bar heel hook in general positions so right. we just took that concept just applied it to the right pressure from a knee shield where they're right. least expecting right. that to happen because what ends up happening is i use that knee pry but my whole body's torquing it versus right. just my arms right. and i love the title for the instruction so yeah leg entanglements from the creative mind of Johnny. Yeah. No, but that's amazing because you, your mind, it is very creative. Yes, I, I like to think that I have my own style of leg entanglements that I've developed. I've learned from so many people that are amazing, but I have developed my own style and you create your own spice, of, yeah. my own, of my leg entanglements. So now everything I teach, it comes from like everything. Everything comes from something, right? 
but it's very much my own style and stuff that I think about where to hit things where you think you can't hit things. No, uh, yeah, no, and you also like you are competing like everywhere, showing the concepts. Yes, so yes. Live and yeah, I think that a lot of my moves or everything I teach is all tested in competition at the highest level, okay. and so I can back it up off that. Yeah, and the. And also, you are one of the main instructors yeah. of one of the main Jiu Jitsu schools in the world, which is yeah. unit in New York City. Yes. No, that's and amazing. I've been teaching there since I was a purple belt all the way to to black, and I've known Murillo since I've been a blue to black. I got so, it. Yeah, I heard that you, you when Murillo was moving to New York City, he was doing secret trainings yeah, with you. Yeah, secret trainings, and, and he just, we just became such good friends, and then I ended up leaving, and Oh, yeah. he ended up just being yeah, one of the first students i i love murillo and uh, i love his style and uh, i think he's one of the biggest legends he's one of those one of those guys that everybody talks about you yeah. know like uh, everyone always a mystery yeah mystery yeah, always yeah. and i i just think that he does so much for us as athletes and I, i'm blessed that he came into my life and was able to give me the platform and help me uh, succeed i would not be where i'm at right now without him that's amazing no that's amazing yeah, so guys, uh, Johnny is showing this entire structure all about his legs, tang tanglements, and uh, it's coming out very soon at bjjfanatics.com. Maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. And thanks so much, Johnny. It was awesome. Thanks. Thank you. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.